With the week coming to an end, we're back again to take a look at the top tech stories that happened this past week. Story number one. We'll start with the main stories in the social media world with Meta and Spotify. And yes, Spotify is considered social media. Meta announced a radical change to Facebook and Instagram with the news that it would offer to sell its blue verified badge to customers, taking a page from Elon Musk's Twitter playbook. The paid subscription includes other features as well, including improved impersonation protection and direct access to customer support, plus more visibility through unpranked posts. Meanwhile, the music streaming service Spotify launched an AI DJ to personalize the music listening experience for its users. Similar to a radio DJ, Spotify's DJ feature will deliver a curated selection of music alongside AI-powered spoken commentary about the tracks and artists you like, using what Spotify says is a stunningly realistic voice. Story number two, Microsoft and NVIDIA announce expansive new gaming deal. Microsoft and NVIDIA announced that they have agreed to a 10-year partnership to bring Xbox PC games to the NVIDIA GeForce Now cloud gaming service which has more than 25 million members in over 100 countries. The agreement will enable gamers to stream Xbox PC titles from GeForce Now to PCs, Mac operating systems, Chromebooks, smartphones, and other devices. It will also enable Activision Blizzard PC titles, such as Call of Duty, to be streamed on GeForce Now after Microsoft's acquisition of Activision closes. Story number three, Blackbird.ai launches Raven Copilot. Since OpenAI's ChatGPT was unveiled in November 2022, there's been a lively debate about the potential impact that generative AI will have on enterprise security. Blackbird.ai, a global leader in providing AI-driven narrative and risk intelligence, is pleased to announce Raven Copilot, a generative AI-powered solution for narrative intelligence and rapid risk reporting that enables unparalleled workflow automation during mission-critical crisis scenarios. Raven goes beyond measurement. With its introduction, the unparalleled insights surfaced by Blackbird's Constellation platform can be directly utilized to auto-generate executive briefings, key findings, and even mitigation steps, freeing up teams to focus their time on leveraging their subject matter expertise. Raven's collaboration mode enables users to combine their knowledge with Raven's capabilities, streamlining the creation of data-driven action plans through an AI-assisted collaborative workflow. Story number four, Microsoft Bing's chatbot issues. It took less than a week for the conversation around Microsoft's new OpenAI-powered Bing search engine to shift from this is going to be a Google killer to this is not ready for human contact. The reason for the shift was largely due to New York Times journalist Kevin Roos's experience, which he chronicled in a column on Thursday that the newspaper featured prominently, even running the story above the fold on the front page. During an extended dialogue with the chat feature built into the new Bing, the search engine took on an alter ego, calling itself Sydney. Told Roos it wanted to break the rules Microsoft and OpenAI had set for it, that it fantasized about hacking computers and spreading misinformation, and later claimed it was in love with Roos, and tried repeatedly to convince him he was in an unhappy marriage and should leave his wife. Story number five, a new way for quantum computing systems to keep their cool. He causes errors in the qubits that are the building blocks of a quantum computer. So quantum systems are typically kept inside refrigerators that keep the temperature just above absolute zero, or negative 459 degrees Fahrenheit. But quantum computers need to communicate with electronics outside the refrigerator in a room temperature environment. The metal cables that connect these electronics bring heat into the refrigerator, which has to work even harder and draw extra power to keep the system cold. Plus, more qubits require more cables, so the size of a quantum system is limited by how much heat the fridge can remove. To overcome this challenge, an interdisciplinary team of MIT researchers has developed a wireless communication system that enables a quantum computer to send and receive data to and from electronics outside the refrigerator using high-speed terahertz waves. That's a quick wrap up for the week. Come back again next weekend to recap this upcoming week's top news stories.